Last time I showed you how to stop your game controller from controlling your mouse on your computer. Today I'm going to show you how to control your mouse or keyboard with a game controller. There's a few options doing this. This is one of the best in my opinion. Easy to set up. Let's have a look. Okay, the name of the application we're looking at today is JQPad. Uh, it should be in your package manager, at least on Debian-based systems. Uh, you can see the man files, fairly simple. Uh, you can tell it that you don't want to have an icon in the system tray. You can tell it which gamepad or joystick you want to use. And you can also have predefined uh, layouts, which we're going to look at setting up today. Um, but to get it going, all you have to do is type uh, JQ... <laughs> uh, Q Joypad, and once you do that, nothing happens in the terminal. Obviously, you want this to start up as a startup process if you're going to be using it. But when you do that, if you have a system tray, it should show up in the system tray just like this down here. I'm going to click on that. Let me make it a floating window here because that's what it'll probably look like on your system. And right away, it detects the one joystick I have set up. It says it's a Microsoft Xbox 360 gamepad, which it is an Xbox 360 uh, compatible. It's not actually an Xbox gamepad, but it detects it as that. And you can see I already have a layout set up called Doom. I have another one that I did test. You can also go to No Layout. Um, and to create a new layout, you can import, export, save, revert. Let's create a new one. I'm just going to call this tutorial and save it. And once those are saved, you can then call them from the shell if you want to load a specific one uh, when your system loads up. Now, you can see here that we have all the buttons and joysticks that are available on this gamepad. And uh, the way you know which one is which is you just press the button or move the joystick and it will light up which ones are being pressed. So you can figure it out. And then you can manually go in there and you can choose one. So let's say uh, if I press this button that says button A on my game controller here, it's button one. I can come in here, I can choose whether I want it to be rapid fire, sticky, but there's no key set. All I have to do is click a button and then I will choose, I can either click a button on my mouse or a key on my keyboard. I will hit A since that's the A on my uh, game controller and click OK. Now this will not take effect until I close the window, at which case uh, Q Joypad will still be running in the background, um, but it will be minimized. But the changes don't take effect until you close the dialog. And so that's one way to do it. You can go through each one of these, click on them and figure out, or you can just do quick set. Quick set is pretty neat. You click that and then you click a button. For example, I can hit this up button here and then I can hit up on my keyboard and then I can hit down and I'll hit down arrow on my keyboard. Left, left arrow, right, right arrow. And then I can click done. And now, when I close this dialog, I can switch over to like, maybe my web browser here. And now I can press the down button on my joyce or on my game controller, and it's like pressing up and down on my keyboard, left and right as well. But uh, you don't see that in the web browser. Let's go back to our settings here. Another thing that you probably want to set up. So I'll come back here. I'll click on the icon again, make it a floating window. I also have these joysticks here. I can press up and I can see that axes two. Axis. The word is axis. For some reason I keep on saying axes or something in the video. And I did that a couple weeks ago and someone called me out on it. I don't know why I'm saying that. Axis. Axis. Editor's note. Let's continue. Is up and down. And then left and right will be axes one. So let's go into axes two here. And what I want to do is I want to make it control the mouse keyboard, and this is vertically for this one. 100 is going to be way too high. Let's set that to 10, which is still probably going to be too high. I'm going to go to axes 1, and I'm going to set that to be horizontal, and I'm also going to lower that down to 10. We're going to make another change here in a second, but let me go ahead and hit close on that. And now I can press up. Oh, I see it's backwards, so I gotta invert that uh, left and right. Let's go back in there. And right now, it's a very jerky movement. Every time I press it, it moves a little bit. I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna go back into those same things. I'm gonna say gradient, and you can choose what type of gradient. I'm gonna choose linear. And same for this one, gradient. I'll change it to linear. And that will make it a smooth movement. So now I can press up, and it goes up, down, down, left, left and right, right, and it's 
kind of fast though. Uh, I don't know if this is going to vary from game controller to game controller, uh, but I think uh, I, 10 is too high, 1 is too low. I'm going to try 5, somewhere in the middle. While I'm in here, I'm also going to set my button 1 to be my left mouse button. So all I have to do is click my left mouse button there, okay. And my button two, I can make it my right mouse button just by clicking that and clicking my right mouse button. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm also going to uh, select, let's see, my X button here is button three and four is the Y. So I'm gonna go three and I'll make that, I'll just put in Z, whatever, any letter on the keyboard. So now those buttons will type that. So now, I can come back here, I can go up, I can go down, left, right. I can use my arrows here to move up in the page. Slide over here and I can use my A button to click. And then I can hit X, which is actually type Z and Y will type X. And that is how you can easily control, use your game controller, control mouse and keyboard functions on your computer. So there you go, that was pretty simple. So now if you have a game that doesn't have a game controller or joystick functionality, only uses mouse and keyboard, you can now use your game controller to control that game. It could also be very useful if for some reason you wanted to use this to control of your computer. In a future video, I will show you a way where you can type out full sentences using your mouse or joystick. It's pretty cool. And it's amazing how it works. It's not very practical for the average person. It's uh, actually designed for uh, handicapped people who may not have full uh, mobility. But uh, that's something we'll look at in a future video. Again, this program, Q Joypad, should be in your repositories. Free, open source, check it out. And I hope that you have a great day.